Off the sauce and I'm geeked up. Don't come with that weak stuff. Marshawn, I'm in beast mode. I'm a G nigga, live the G con. Off the sauce and I'm geeked up. Don't come with that weak stuff. Marshawn, I'm in beast mode. I'm a G nigga, live the G con. This is podcast episode 48. Uh, what's a what's a 48? Who's a 48? Oh, I can't think of somebody good off the tip of my head. Tip of my tongue. 48 is a good number, though. Uh, just seen a bunch of tr- people, a bunch of track people. No, somebody else is a good 48. No, I'm getting only track people. Really? That's it? Yeah. 48 what? what is, they don't wear numbers in track, do they? Mm-hmm. Let me see. Jersey. Maybe the 4 by 8 or something. I spell Jersey. Oh, that's wrong. Uh, uh, there is ooh. no, there is no good forty-eight. All right, so we're just gonna move past that. Uh, Space City Brothers, with the boys, with the guys, with the men. With the people, with the, two with of the us. folk, just the two of us. So, uh, I have Amazon Prime. I watch video on Amazon Prime, and there was always a uh, like a commercial, like a like an internal commercial about John Claude Van Johnson, and it shows him getting punched in the face. Like oh yeah, set. that commercial is pretty funny. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna watch this. Let me see what this is about. And it's basically that um, he's himself, but he's kind of making fun of himself. Yeah, it's almost like a uh, <clears throat> yeah, I came. It's almost like a uh, a meme. Not a meme, but like a Family Guy episode. Oh, uh, ish. Just not like a Family Guy episode. Yeah, it's like um. <laughs> That's that weather coming out. Oh, that's gross. Uh, that's fucking allergens. Uh, so he's himself. He's Van Dam, but he's also like a black ops operative. Uh, going right. under the name of John Claude Van Johnson, which John. is which is <laughs> like stupid. Yeah, it's like it's like pur- it's basically like purposely campy, and then like uh when he gets in the shit, he John always Claude Van Johnson. <laughs> he uh, when he gets. And like his uh his acting career is like his cover for him being a black ops agent. And then like when he gets into shit, he uh <laughs> he fucking references his movies, <laughs> like all his movies and wow. shit. Like the first episode, he was uh <clears throat> his infiltrating like a factory to uh put a tracking device on like a drug shipment. And he had a disguise where he was looking like like an older dude with long hair and goatee and stuff. And he runs into a guy who looks exactly. It's basically him. Him. It's basically him. But he runs into a guy that looks as he's disguised. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, uh, what the hell? Who are you? He's like, I'm you from the future. He's like, is it time cop future or back back to the future future? <laughs> it's like, he's like, uh. Time cop future, and he's like, and he touches him. He's like, "Well, you can't be me from the future because in time cop, uh, matter can't occupy the same space at the same time. So how can you touch me if you're me from the future?" And he's like, "Uh, I'm from the Looper future. He could touch us." So he's like, eh, "I don't think the science of Looper was uh pretty, pretty accurate." <laughs> pretty, pretty accurate. Oh <laughs> he just knocks himself out, and it. <laughs> <laughs> she was stupid and then like the next episode he was like trying to infiltrate uh like they tracked the drug shipment to a dude and it was like a it was in like a uh like a a drifter a drifter like drug group or gang or whatever yeah and so he goes there in disguise but he can't actually drive stick and like the, <laughs> the dude that's uh He's like his, his one of his like I guess a assi- like agent assistants, undercover assistants. The dude was like a child rebel, uh, a fucking uh, child soldier for a cartel. 
So he, so, but Jean Claude doesn't listen to him at all. <laughs> and then he goes up to the dude and he's like, oh, uh, he just rattles off like four movies where he's tortured in or something. Yeah. He's like, you can have me uh, a prisoner, like in this movie. Or you can have me as your mechanic, like in this movie. Or you can have me as your enforcer, like in this like other in movie. movie. <laughs> but they're all his they're movies. All his movies. <laughs> Oh man, so I I I've only seen like two episodes of it, but I think it's a good show. I think it's gonna be funny once I get really into it. It is so dumb. <laughs> it's just dumb and campy. And then like uh he gets into a fight in the first episode. And you know, John Claude Van Damme, his uh his trademark is the splits because he's yeah, he's not a good actor, so he has he that's, that's deep, his like over the top movies. That's his get that's yeah. his gimmick. And he tries to do one in the first episode when like the guard like this 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 motherfucker did. So he went into the base to infiltrate it but he took his script with him because he didn't memorize it beforehand for the movie he fucking leaves the script and it has his name all over it so the fucking guards find it and he's like oh i gotta go back for it like he he realized he left it he's like oh i gotta go back for it so he fucking goes back without the disguise on <laughs> to get the script and then uh, he runs into all the guards standing, standing there. there. So they pull out billy clubs and, and um, they start to run. And dude's like, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. One at a time or else we're going to run into each other. So the first guy runs up and he tries to bust the split. And <laughs> he doesn't make it. He's like, oh. And then the dude just cracks him upside the head with the billy club. <laughs> so, yeah, the this, this show is good. I, I had to watch the rest of it. I started watching uh fucking just random like a bunch of random movies that i wanted to see yeah on like netflix and hulu so i haven't finished i haven't like gotten through the season plus brooklyn 99 came back and shit it's already oh, two yeah. episodes in it's just so much it's a lot of shit it's, I, it's I my constant compl- it's my constant complaint of there's so much content i um i started watching trigger warning by uh killer mike on netflix i have no interest in it that's just hilarious and then i'm not even a killer mike fan and he so, got some good bars. I'm not like a huge fan of his though. It is like I've I've never heard Killer Mike on a song to begin with, so I'm not even like interested in him. And yeah. then it's like he keeps. It seems like he keeps just being opinionated about stuff, but maybe not necessarily correct. Like the uh, it was something where he started uh, talk about gun control. Yeah, then he partnered then, with the NRA. Yeah, he did that, and then like some some lady. Uh, was talking about uh, was talking about something. I guess like a photo shoot on her uh Instagram, and then he like commented on it about uh like gun control and shit. And she was like, "Oh, that meant uh hair and nails or some shit like that." <laughs> it was like, "Oh, I was wrong." It's yeah. like, all right. Sometimes nigga just gets high and wants to fight with niggas, and it's like, all right. Well, I'm definitely not. Yeah, but even he makes good points and shit. But at the same time, sometimes you just he he be like he had. I had this. This is the thing about celebrities that get me. So sometimes they make good points about certain stuff, but also at the same time you got to think that they got disposable income. Yes, yeah, so a lot of us don't have that option to be so opinionated about shit. When I we mean, don't have the money to back us up. I mean, there's me, but yeah. it's like nothing that I'm opinionated about stuff that doesn't matter at all. <laughs> that really doesn't matter. I'm opinionated about fucking people wearing about. Uh, <laughs> Well, we're going to get just just stuff that triggers me, but it's stuff that doesn't matter whatsoever. <laughs> my glasses off. I finally heard the uh, the Kanye lift yourself what shit. What song is that? The, the poopity scoop shit. Oh, The, the fucking Drake That shit song made song. me so mad, bro. I don't even like talking about that fucking <laughs> song. Because the beat goes so hard, and you get ready for it to drop, and you poopity scoop. Poop, poop. I like, nigga, I be in the studio like, bro, this what the fuck Kanye brought me and this bitch to do? All right. All right, that's good, Kanye. I be hearing him through that shit. Just get my money out and go home, bro. He really wasted, he, Drake was going to kill that beat. So, what was the story about that beat? Because the only reason I heard it is because on Culture Kings, they, uh, they were mentioning, like, the songs that they really liked from 2018. And then Edgar was like, uh, Kanye sampled it, but the actual song is really good. So he played it. I was like, oh, that does sound dope. And I found, I went and found the song. I was like, oh, this song is great. Yeah. And I played it. And then when I was like, I was trying to see what I could find about it on YouTube. 
because I had I found it on SoundCloud. So I was trying to check YouTube see if there's like a slow version, and it was like, oh, this is just Kanye videos all up and down. I was like, well, let me see what yeah, let me see what this shit is. And it was like, okay, and then he like threw this weird fucking techno beat and i was like okay this yeah. is not the good idea he should have did and yeah. then like i i just scrubbed through it and it was like Poo-hoo-hoo. i was like why why just to, like that's some basically his story so so at the end of at the end of uh at the into, end of yeah into the mic guy my fault at the end of views you know kanye and and Drake been going back head back and forth with each other for a long time. We just never realized it until now. Uh, or I didn't care. Yeah. That. And uh I think it was, you know, Kanye Kanye been having Drake come help write some shit for him and, and listen to some shit. Cause you know them niggas is neighbors or whatever the fuck. So the story goes, uh at the end of views, between views and Scorpion and Kanye projects coming out. This is, why, this is why Kanye dropped that whole week of music albums and shit, because that was Drake's original drop week. But then he comes out and he throws all this shit on top of it, and Drake had to push this shit back. That and the right some more shit about Pusha T. <laughs> Kanye was. So he 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 goes over to uh he goes over to uh Kanye crib and you know he show he lets he's showing him beats and shit and you, that that's one of the beats that come up. And he's like, I promise you can have it, Drake. I promise you can have it. Drake's like, oh, yeah, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. So he's waiting for Kanye to ship the shit over. And then he drops his shit. Okay, so that was the story he told on the shop. Yeah, basically. That's that. That's basically what happened. That's what he says happened. Kanye West drops the shit and his whoopity scoop, poop scoop, bunch of bullshit on that, that solid-ass beat. And to this day, still pisses me off because it's such a solid-ass beat. And for you to be like whoopity scoop. Poop, poop, whoopity, scoopity, poop. All that bullshit. Like, that's basically just, like, that wasn't even for us. That was just so Drake couldn't have it. You know what that was? That was a that was a very high-quality, high-expensive troll. Basically. Because he could have he could have been like, you know what, Push? You can have this. You know what, Sci High? You can have this. Just, just freestyle on it, put it on YouTube and Vivo and SoundCloud and fuck Drake. Like, he could have yeah. just did, he could have just let it fly, but he was like, no, I'm going to make I'm gonna make a very awful song a to very this, awful song to this and soulful ass out. beat and then put it out and then put it the fuck out on top of that shit and and so that's what really that's what really like started the whole like you know gash in 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 the shit because Kanye West is always doing weird shit like that to Drake and Drake would for whatever reason Drake is like. It, this this final was the strongest back. I guess the kid was the strongest back because he he says he believes that, you know, Kanye West told Pusha about the kid and all that shit like that. But Pusha T says shit. Forty says some shit about that nigga to some girl or whatever. And I'm terrible at telling stories, but <laughs> I don't really give a fuck. But yeah, Forty says. I mean, uh, Pusha T says Forty did it. Drake don't believe that. He says Kanye told Pusha T, and here we are today. And all was started it, because of fucking song. Was it ASAP Rocky telling the shit too? That's why. I, that's what it's so. I think I saw it was that ASAP Rocky was telling stuff. It, I think it was because I think ASAP Rocky was a part of it. I know it was, it was saying like three niggas could have been the kid, uh, kid's dad, Drake, James Harden, or ASAP Rocky. And so I, all both of them niggas were like, oh nope, my, not me. So <laughs> Drake, Drake took the mantle. I mean, James Harden hasn't. I don't. I haven't heard about him saying anything publicly. Because the nigga was not the nigga smart enough not to say anything publicly. <laughs> just not being. Just not be. That's the most private nigga I've ever seen. Just bro. not be thrown in it. Like all, all the thing I know about James Harden is, is that he's always at strip clubs. Yeah, that's it, bro. He might be in the party in the Hamptons. Oh, yeah, he played basketball. That's about it. That's all you know about James Harden. KD probably even less. KD don't do shit but ball. <laughs> Katie sitting in a four square room in one of his mansions and just sit in the chair like this until it's time to go play basketball again. <laughs> just, just, oh, uh, uh, my fucking, uh, my idea was like, oh, uh, what do you do? Nothing. It's like, no, what do you, no, I go home, I sit down, and I stare at the wall until it's time to go to bed. <laughs> and then I wake up, 
<laughs> I stare at the wall, <laughs> and then I get <laughs> until it's time for me to get up and go. To, it's, it's, it's literally time for me to walk out the door and go to work. That's all I do. <laughs> Bro, fucking Kawhi Leonard, just, they put that nigga in a storage closet in the fucking stadium. <laughs> yeah, until <laughs> either until it's game time, practice time, or he has to make like a a team a team mandated public well, appearance. That's it. <laughs> they just pull him out for and maintenance. <laughs> that's it. It must monthly maintenance check his pressures, check yeah, his levels. That's it. LeBron James all over the place. He, he, yeah, LeBron be doing shit. LeBron be showing up at concerts and shit. Genuinely and likes what he does. Yeah, and Kawhi is just in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet sleep mode. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet wake up. <laughs> game day, Quiet. Are you ready? Quiet is ready for game day, sir. <laughs> look, 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 start going there, start flipping. Flip click, 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 click. Game day, Quiet. Quiet is ready for game day, sir. <laughs> like a fucking Android. <laughs> Kawhi is ready for end for game day, sir. Oh man, uh, Kawhi update. <laughs> Run Apple's update. <laughs> uh, so fucking. You know what? This might okay. So I'm gonna skip a little bit. Uh, what are what are things that will rant you? That will trigger you to rant? Okay, for me, first first things first, man wigs, niggas with fake waves. And shit, I hate it so much. It angers me <laughs> immediately. Yo, that last pic you sent me, dog. That shit was so. That, that shit, shit was egregious. fake. That, was that just, shit, that shit looked fake, bro. It looked like he had styrofoam in his head. I'm uh, sad, dog. Bruh, that shit it, is egregious. With most of them niggas, they was kind of, they was kind of in like they maybe early forties to like I mean, somewhere between the early thirties to late uh, to to late thirties, somewhere in there, early forties. That nigga had to be at least fifty. That nigga had to be at least fifty. No, he, or he looked like he was at least fifty. Well, you know, uh, when niggas be uh, like j- stay drinking brown liquor twenty four seven, this shit ages you and shit. shit that, age, that shit, nigga, his shit. It like with some of them niggas, you know, they they did the little shit or shit, and and the nigga, uh, they look younger. You know what I'm saying? They look like they was. They was in twenties again. That nigga still looked old after they put with, with this with these fake ass dreads. That's dog. all like, that shit. You can't go bro. from ball to dreads. dreads. No, in the afternoon. No, nigga. Just, At least everybody else shit was kind of like other than the niggas who had like the 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 fuck nigga haircuts and shit like that. You know the the fade with the with the top is all like twisted up and shit other than them niggas but the niggas who had like just ways or straight back or straight hair or some shit like that this nigga had a whole 11 inch dreads on top of his fucking head I'm like nah nigga I'm just saying like that that was too much that shit is egregious man. that shit was too fucking much that shit is nigga egregious. should be ashamed of himself walking out of the salon somebody hyped that nigga up to do that stupid shit <laughs> and then uh, the LeBron versus Jordan debate that will always get me into a rant I don't care uh when people send me long text messages, that will always <laughs> get me into a rant. <laughs> and then uh, people who dye their hair and want to be taken seriously, like if your hair is, if your hair is fucking silver and you're not a fucking <laughs> if your hair is fucking like an entertainer or some shit. If your hair is silver and you don't have a, a re- if your hair is silver and you have a regular day job, it's like what why. What do you do? What do you want me to? Uh, I'm you a, want me to take you seriously? Uh, I'm a I'm a assistant manager at fucking whatever store or whatever. <laughs> nah, like, nigga, move. Let me talk to the let me let talk me, to the real assistant manager. Let me talk to an adult, please. Okay, get uh, get this purple hair. Pierces all up in their faces and shit. Get this get this green hair piece of shit off. That's face. some pud shit, dog. Bro, at certain ages, you're not allowed to like early twenties. Go ahead, rock out piercings. All that bullshit. But if you're planning on getting a regular job, nigga, if you don't plan on getting a regular job, who gives a fuck? You, you can have just you like, have a Lenny Kravitz piercing. To, Lenny Kravitz got a piercing. Who gives a fuck? Lenny just, Kravitz is a hold on, let, let me just say this. I am absolutely hair hair shaming everybody <laughs> with color hair. I'm 100%. <laughs> and you walk up to me in fucking uh, Foot Locker or some shit with fucking bleach blonde hair. Yeah. Okay. 
No. No. Nah. No. Nah. Yeah, nah. If you, if you plan on having me. a regular job, nigga, don't. Don't do none of that get, shit. Get the fuck away from me. The most I do is tattoos. That's it. But. Look, if you work if you work at a doctor's office and your hair is purple, it's like Imagine nah, a doctor so, somebody, come in. somebody else checking me in. Fuck you. Imagine a doctor come in with motherfucking with pirates of Caribbean dreads and shit. Try to <laughs> try to give you a checkup. Well, first we're gonna No, nigga. Fuck dude, no. Give no, me I'm out. the doctor. Who the fuck is this person? Nurse! Nurse, we got somebody strange in my room. He trying to look at my dick. <laughs> like, look, like get, sir, I'm the doctor. I, I Let put, me see your credentials, nigga. Look, look, I'm putting my pants on, getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> nah, cause this is unprofessional. This motherfucker look like he he probably should have kept. Oh shit! Wow! 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 Oh shit! You know what? I'm. I'm adding, I'm adding you to the list of things that'll make me rent. This nigga did knocked over the whole, did detached the whole bike stand from the desk I'm trying to look that shit up. in the middle of the podcast. God damn it. Stop touching the mic, goddamn it! That's I'm the point. You said it and forget it. I'm keeping this in. That's why. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Just ruining the quality of this podcast. Fuck, bro. All right, now nah, it's getting ridiculous. Uh, uh, nigga, who you telling? You like a fucking. <laughs> oh, you just need to learn. Nah, it's 2018. I'm oh, tired of screwing shit. Or oh, you just need to learn how to mount the mic. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bro, four. It's 2018. Mike got no electronic mic. 48 episodes in, you can't mount the mic correctly. Bro, I still, I'm never gonna learn how to do that shit. <laughs> You know, I'll be like, right, he's high lefty Lucy in my fucking head. There we go. Oh, what shit was I talking about? What shit was I talking? No, we're past. Oh, okay. yeah, get this motherfucker out of my room. <laughs> you took, you took, <laughs> live. All the you girls look good with, with colored hair. No. Yeah. No. Girls look amazing with colored hair. No. So the girl with the pink hair with the waves. They all look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they all look terrible. I'm not only hair shaming dudes. I'm hair shaming everybody. I love girls with colored hair. No, it's awful. God awful. Uh, college pajama parties. I hate them so much because people just make terrible choices. This is bad. Well, let's just say today I'm just I'm Dude, I got a lot of sleep. Look, I got a lot of sleep. I ate good yesterday, so I'm full of energy to rant. Okay, <laughs> full of energy and spice. Uh, college pajama parties. It's niggas that just want to be in their draws in front of everybody, and it is girls. Like, why do girl? Why do ladies wear tutus to pajama parties? I don't understand it. Like, that's not a pajama. You think they give a fuck? That's not a pajama <laughs> item. Like, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you, Why do you even far have? moved from college to be this upset about the whole still, dog. No, I'm definitely still. Upset. <laughs> I think it went it's to one experience. It's like, you know, no, it's several. Uh, it's several. Even in high school, even I in high school, like pajama parties. Like, why it's a pajama party? You can wear pajamas. It's like you can actually but wear pajamas. Don't have pajamas. Why are you? Why are you wearing tutu? Why are you wearing a a, a lime green tutu? That's not a pajama item. Because niggas there's, don't wear pajamas. There's That's no white people shit. No, even still, I have pajamas. I don't I wear. Pajamas. I don't wear them because I fucking wear. Sw- I just wear shorts to sleep. Yeah, that's it. Because you know it's simpler. It's one less item I have, I have to, to have. I have to worry about. That's it. Shorts and that's it. Bro. But it's like you could you could get some cheap pajama pajama pants to wear. A pajama party is basically you wear a t shirt or a tank and pajama pants. That's all no. you need to wear. To why are you wearing a tutu? Pajama party that doesn't make sense. Come fully dressed and hope the girls come. Showing their ass. That's all a pajama party is. But you don't have to show your ass. You, she could be wearing pajama pants. You, you can't hide the yeeks in pajama pants. But she getting free if she sew the ass. Okay, but you can you can still wear pajama pants. The girls. But all, she get in free. No, the girls always. She get show in free. the ass. No, the girls always get in free. You I get don't free understand. If you show the ass. I don't understand the tutu. I, the, I just don't get it. Why? Why is that an item? Why, why is that an item because, choice? Uh, real that, girls like to dance and, and fake ballerinas shit, nigga. You come into <laughs> only, a, only because women ruined it for you other in, little girls. You come into a pajama party. <laughs> like, why is there a tutu there? Then, well, mate, okay. If you if you understand why the ladies wear tutus for pajama parties, tweet us at Space City Brothers, at Space City Bros. 
or email us at spicecitybrothers at gmail.com some, or DM, DM us on Instagram. Just respond to this episode of why the shortest is wearing tutus at goddamn pajama parties. So, also, uh, fucking cat ears. Like, <laughs> some uh, some need- with, with colored hair, with purple hair, with ways. It's, it's going to tweet you, tell you to shut the fuck up and mind your business. I'm telling you. So, we're going to tweet at you, hey. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> to, and then the one and the cat ears. Why are y'all? <laughs> why are they cat ears at a pajama party? Like did again, that's not even part of the theme. It's like, <laughs> do you wear cat ears to sleep? Oh my god, shorty coming with that, with, and then and then lace gloves, red dreads, and lace gloves, and cat ears, and tutus, and a and a, and a, and a, and a pink and Abby, tutu. Like, and Abby gonna be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> It's a free country, yeah, motherfucker. I, it's a free country, and I do what I want. And you gonna be like, Tevin was right to get in free. No, they, they that's how you get the that. ugly friend in free. No, it's always ladies free. That no, way, no, it's never no, ladies. If free. you let ladies in free, you can charge the dudes twenty dollars instead of ten. Because it's but like, it's damn, it, all the like, shorties are showing up. Let's let ladies in free who got the ass out. You definitely have prepared to let ladies in you free. You clearly have not been to a college party in a while. They I don't haven't. care. I haven't. Now the dudes, if it's a lot of girls, then you charge the dudes more. You ever been to a party where it's like, oh, it's thirty five? Your niggas is like, well, it's thirty five. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, it's more than twelve. It's more than fifteen. Nigga, I'm going home. I went to one party, fucking in by PV and shit. It was some. That's some where you frat. made your first mistake. Yeah. You went to the PV. Some frat was throwing a party and shit. So we sitting in line and shit, and I was gonna get my nigga in because it was his birthday. So the nigga was like, "It's twenty dollars again. It's tw- ten for men, twenty for for uh, tw- ten for girls, twenty for niggas. Cool." And we still in line, my nigga. Like the line not moving at all. Nigga come back. It's thirty for niggas, ten for girls. I said, "Cool." Nigga came back. It's forty five for niggas, ten for girls. I was like, "Well, time for us to go." <laughs> <laughs> this been fun. <laughs> Let's go to Water Burgers. <laughs> I was not finna play forty five dollars to get around a bunch of niggas in blue. You know why? Because they knew <clears throat> they knew that you're all the way in PV and there's nowhere else to go. <laughs> there's really nowhere, <laughs> nowhere else, else to go. See a T see see a T shoe. Nah, if they not. get past twenty five, it's like okay, fuck this. I'm going downtown. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. You so many places you can go. Catch the bus and go and shit. Then you have to go downtown. You just walk until you find the places open. Fucking in the whole hole in the wall strip club or some shit. No. <laughs> PV. That's all I got is works. PV. That's it. <laughs> so if somebody's not throwing a party on campus, he's just like, well, I guess we're gonna go home. <laughs> I guess we'll go. I guess we'll go back to the dorm. And- no, it's I'm going to fuck home. This ain't stripping. <laughs> Twenty to forty dollars for to get into a college party. They ain't even got no food there. You can suck my dick. <laughs> you ain't paying that much. Hey, I ain't paying that much money, my nigga. Just cause there's hoes. There's hoes everywhere. And all the beverages are just in large trash cans. Yeah. Uh, it it not even Tupperware containers, just containers. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Shit, not even in a, a clean cooler. Mm. Just to have niggas want to blow whistles and do hand signs and shit up at me while while they trying to. Dance in a circle with other niggas. I pass. <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass beat by a frat. <laughs> All right, so now you're a fitness sigmas. Nah, fuck them. <laughs> I've never liked them. <laughs> All the niggas I've ever liked is Las Vegas. That's it. <laughs> I don't know how you like. Cause they big and I'm big. We have that in common. <laughs> That's it. Not, sigmas. Uh, that doesn't. That doesn't uh, apply at all. <laughs> That's all niggas I respect. So they big and crazy. I'm big. Hey, you're big. Also wild. You like purple too? <laughs> oh my god! That's a wild obnoxious. I'm a Sigma. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, <laughs> shit. I, I, uh, See, I'm like I, an I'm athletic a, nigga, but who just didn't make the team. I don't know about, I don't know if the AKAs are gonna jump you. You're definitely gonna get jumped <laughs> by some Sigma. Oh, we still got a lot of year left. I'm a fan. I'm a <laughs> definitely fan to, to majority of them. We ain't even talking about them black and gold niggas yet. <laughs> I hate them niggas the most. Nah. Alphas are straight. <laughs> I hate them niggas alphas the most. I like alphas. We get it. I like Y'all niggas are smart. I like okay. alphas. <laughs> A bunch of the cool people I knew in pharmacy school are alphas. Yeah. How many uh, suits do they own? Well, a lot because we were in pharmacy school. You had to wear fucking 
No, but how many suits did they own that were all just black? They come in like different variations of black suits. <laughs> you just wear a black suit. That's like a staple in life. That's a st- you don't have a black suit. You're a what? Uh, you're okay. a peasant. How many? How Do many? Do you have a black suit? How many different turtlenecks? Now answer have? the question. Do you have a black suit? I have black. Do you? Have, it's a yes or no question. Do you have a black suit? I just have black. So no, you're a peasant. Yeah, I'm uh, fine with that. Moving on, uh, Al Pacino. I, I won't. I won't no, be cold on my turtleneck. Moving on, Al Pacino was wearing <laughs> high heels. Suit jacket. <laughs> moving on, Al Pacino was wearing high heels in Godfather. Looking like Wesley Snipes in, in <laughs> Do Jack City. All right, I'm done. <laughs> you know I'm cutting it out. <laughs> moving on, Al Pacino was wearing high heels in Godfather. Apparently. Tony Stark wears high heels, and I mean Tony Stark. I, see, I can't even distinguish them niggas no more. Robert Downey Jr. wears high heels in, in Iron Man. Yeah, but that's modern times. Al Pacino, Al Pacino's wearing to high look heels. taller, nigga. Al Pacino got to do what the fuck. Al Pacino's wearing <laughs> high heels in fucking nineteen seventy yeah. something because he, he look they tried they were trying to fire him from the movie while they were making the movie because the, what, are they, what are they gonna do just what the fuck are they gonna do because the char- <laughs> because the character written in the book of michael he was described as like six feet tall with blonde hair and al pacino's the exact opposite the complete and honest opposite and they were trying to fire they were trying to fire him and then he did uh he did one scene I, I don't know if it was the hospital scene or the uh or the uh where he shoots the police chief and the dude in the restaurant. He did one of those and they were like, Oh no, we gotta keep him in. Oh uh, yeah, no, he's he's definitely gonna get an Oscar <laughs> for this shit. We gotta keep this guy in. <laughs> this movie's gonna blow the Which fuck are both up. great scenes. And then he, he had he actually had his jaw wired shut and he was wearing like prosthetics for his face being swollen and shit. But yeah, he was wearing he was it was first it was like, Oh, you're wearing like lifts but then it was like, okay, we he needs to <laughs> he needs to wear uh, ladies' high heels because they don't have a fucking platform shoe for it. So he's just wearing women's shoes, just women's shoes and shit. Oh, that had to suck. That had to suck. <laughs> nah, did you see that that behind the scene of uh, uh, Iron Man movie where he's walking with a uh, with a uh, Piper, and <laughs> they have Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey, Robert Downey Jr. on like this three inch board just so he could be at the same height as her. <laughs> I was just like, that's got to be kind of emasculating to realize how much money this nigga's getting. It's like, oh, no, I'm shorter than my female co-star, but they just paid me $10 million. I think I'll be okay. Well, I, don't if, 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 I don't know I don't if that's emasculating that. because it's like, oh, wow, he's making, I'm making a whole lot of money yeah, that's what I'm to saying. be walking on the board. But it's still funny. Yeah, it's still hilarious. I mean, fucking Tom Cruise. It's Tom short. Cruise is only like 5'4". Short four. niggas run the world, bro. I'm he's only like 5'4", and they have him in all these movies. Short niggas run the world. level with the rest of the people. people. People like to say that they like tall niggas, but all their favorite niggas is Lil Wayne, short, T-Pain, w- T-T, or T-Pain, short, T-I, short. I wonder, well, not, not, none of those three run anything. Well, <laughs> at one point, you can say that they did. No, uh, I wonder. Short. I wonder if you can tell how short he is if you watch like his running scenes. Like, does like? Nah, because they always they they're always down up. Do they like? No, nah, there's no like, way to can, tell. Is there? Is there? Is, can you see through like movie trickery? You know, no. I need I need a long cut of all his running scenes. Like like in fucking Mission Impossible Fallout, like he he runs through a building. Why was he? <laughs> I was about to say, why was he running? <laughs> That's why does he what, always run? The question is, why? What was he running to? I think he was trying to chase down something or follow something. Shit, I don't even know. <laughs> no, I just thought about Jack Reacher, where uh, they had the scene where he gets out the car and blends in with the crowd and shit. And the people in the crowd just help that nigga get away. Like, don't even know what he did or why the police are chasing him or anything like that. They just sort of help this nigga get away. Like, the car the car comes to a complete stop. He jumps out, walks into the crowd, and stands there like a patron and shit, like a pedestrian. And the old man hands him his hat and shit. And another man stands in front of him. Like, two people stand in front of him. And it's like, y'all don't know what this nigga did. Y'all just gonna help this man get away. Jack Reacher. What scene was that? That's like towards the end. Jack Reacher. Yeah. 
I have no idea where. Well, he gets on a bus and goes wherever the fuck. But yeah, I, I recall. Know. I recall him getting on a bus. I don't yeah. remember him running. Yeah, he was running. Well, he wasn't running, but he, like he was in a car. He was in a car chase. Okay, I do remember him running in Jack Reacher now. Yeah. Because I at the end when he went to like the construction site, he was like sprinting through that yeah. while the dude was sniping. But the videos are like that. They're, they're all right. Here's a one thing. Here's a good trick that I've noticed that they they never have anything next to them to compare sizes to. You feel me? So it's it's hard to see how short a person is when you don't have nothing to compare it to. So if it's just open land, he could be whatever height he is. He'd be six three, or he could be five fucking three. You know what I'm saying? And they always do top down and make them seem bigger than they are too. Or they do eye level shit. They get the camera eye level. That's what, that's another trick. And if they got to do comparisons, they just like you said. Yeah. They always make the person look bigger or, or keep the camera over their shoulder or some shit. I don't know. But well, they got him that. walking next to Terrence Howard, I see. But he doesn't look short. So Terrence Howard's pretty short, too. Mm, Told strange. you, short niggas in the world, bro. Uh, we should watch every Will Ferrell movie in order. No, I yes. refuse to. We should have no. should. Uh, old Will Ferrell or New Will Ferrell? All of them. From no. start to finish. No. We got to watch all no. of them. Every single one. No. Every single one. No. Because he has some pretty bad fucking movies. <laughs> like, yeah. for whatever, for all the good movies you he get, has, you have to get he has Get the Hard, nigga. <laughs> he wasn't in Get Hard. Yeah, that's he John was. John C. Riley. No, that's not John C. Riley. That's John C. Riley. And Get Hard? What are you talking about? That's Kevin Hart. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking what Walk Hard. What the fuck are you talking about? No, I'm thinking Walk Hard. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was in get, he was in Walk Hard, too. But he had, nah, he, he wasn't minor, in Walk Hard. He had a minor character. He had a, like, I think he was like a... Um, a guru, guru, or some stupid shit. I know he had a he had a scene with he had a scene in 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 Walk Hard. Oh, wrong. We love John C. Riley around here, boy. And Will a classically Ferrell. trained actor. Will Ferrell was <laughs> not in. Funny Will movie. Ferrell was not in Walk Hard at uh, all. He wasn't in Walk Hard. I no, that's the had, point. It's John C. Riley's movie. That's what I'm saying. I could have swore he had like a little scene with him. No. Though. Where he was like a no, was he a no trainer no for a monkey no he was uh, not that's the whole point maybe he's just not credited I gotta go no, watch, not even watch uncredited I'm on IMDB he's not in it hmm. he's full cast that totally seems like a movie he'd be a part of no that's the hmm. point they had a lot of funny niggas in that movie we had fucking Jonah Hill was in that movie I haven't seen Walk Hard in a long time yeah Jonah Hill was the brother <laughs> How did his brother die? He cut him in half with a machete. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, wow. Machete fighting. That just came out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, what are the three? So, what are the three biggest movies of our youth? Because Will Ferrell's in two of them for sure. Three biggest movies of our youth. Of our youths. For sure, it's I Step Brothers. I refuse to acknowledge Pineapple Express. For sure, it was Step Brothers. Everybody Definitely. saw Step Everybody Brothers. Everybody loves Step Brothers. For sure, it's Kill Bill. Everybody saw Kill Bill. Everybody loves Kill Bill. There was like a week in middle school where everybody talked about Kill Bill, and I hadn't seen what? it. And everybody I was, was so to do the upset. And shit. I was so upset. Like they were like giving away scenes and yeah. shit, talking about it in class. I'm Changing like, their ringtones to the it. Kill Bill theme song and shit. That was me. So what's the third? I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't decide on a third, cause everybody for sure saw Talladega Nights. Yeah, definitely. Everybody saw Talladega Nights. I say pineapple. I remember a lot of people talking about Pineapple Express. I never liked Pineapple. I thought it was movie was stupid, honestly. Well, that was the point. It was, it was a uh, true romance, except everybody's Brad Pitt. <laughs> Is that a theme from the movie? That's basically why it was. That's basically the idea. It's like if they did true mo. If they did, if they did true romance, except everybody was Brad Pitt. Everybody was like the main characters were just like potheads. Oh uh-huh. no! It was true. I think they said it was true romance. If Brad Pitt like went after them or some shit, but it was about true romance and Brad Pitt. It's basically, if like the pothead had a bigger part. <laughs> Is that what the movie's about? I guess. <laughs> Well, it's not a bot, but it's like that's that was the idea. I thought the the theology behind it and shit. That was just like the idea about it. Um, I can't. Step Brothers, Kill Bill. Was there any other movie that was like that big of our youth? The other guys, maybe. 
Nah, the other guys wasn't no. that big. Because uh, I didn't see it till later, even though it's a great movie. Um, Another great Will Ferrell movie that we need to watch in chronological order. I refuse. <laughs> no. I fucking re- are we saying movies that he produced and started in? Or are we saying movies that he just was in, period? All of his movies in order. I don't know I what you don't understand. fucking refuse. You realize you don't have a choice in this. I do have a choice. No, you don't. I choose to refuse. You can, <laughs> you can choose to watch and enjoy, or you can choose to watch and be a sourpuss about it. <laughs> now, I watch all the funny choices. ones. The other ones, you will, I, I, you will watch I'm, every goddamn movie. The other ones, I have to get up and use the restroom for an hour and 30 minutes. No. <laughs> oh, fuck. What's another good one? Oh, my mind is blank. It, it, Dennis Talladega Nights. There was no other movie that everybody saw and referred to and shit. Step Brothers, Kill Bill, Talladega Nights. That's it. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess so. Because I, I can't even think of. I can't even think of another movie. Maybe The Notebook, but I didn't watch it, so I didn't I'm see not gonna the count it either. Or the the little You Got Mail bullshit. Now You Got Mail was before The Matrix. Uh, Lord of the Rings? It's uh, definitely not Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's three mm, three hours well, of this. Well the Matrix was more <laughs> the Matrix was more pop culture. <laughs> yeah, the Matrix was more like pop culture, but See, it wasn't like we weren't in school. Well, I guess the Matrix. I don't know. Nah, I wouldn't count the Matrix because if if you if it was a pop culture thing, but like... Because The Matrix was like one of the coolest movies ever, ever. But it's like, you didn't... It wasn't... It didn't stick it didn't, on your bones. It, it didn't last for t- for four years or like... Hef- it wasn't heavy on people's minds for yeah. like three months. It was just like, oh, this is a good movie. Because like, I guess you could say a good movie is somewhere where you have like the whole movie is, is rememberable. Like, on, there's only a few scenes in Matrix where it's like you remember... One of them is hit, the original, the first scene where the niggas in the office. Then there's a pulling a little thing out of the stomach. Then there's a little kick. Then there's a, the first time he did the little bullet mode shit. And other than yeah. that, that I'm pretty much I like even the parts with Agent Smith. I don't fucking remember like that. Hmm. I guess when he turned when he turned the two dudes into Agent Smiths, that was about it. Yeah. Uh. It's hard to it's hard to beat Talladega Nights. It's hard to beat Talladega Nights for real, for real. Um, what we say? Matrix, Lord of the Rings. Uh, definitely wasn't Lord of the Rings. Definitely wasn't Lord of the Rings. Um, I was gonna say Star Wars, but no, that was those, that was Star Wars the the prequels. Yeah, but people hated them because yeah. the fucking. What was, what was the second movie? The second movie was just what Who that the was. Fuck the, cares? That was uh. That was so boring. <laughs> that was Attack of the Clones, right? It, second one. Yeah, the second no. one was Attack of the Clones. I thought the third one was Attack of the Clones. Was because that yeah the third one's when they actually the initiate is, the thing, right? Uh, okay, we gotta look this up now. Yeah, because the third one's where he becomes evil. Yeah, but that's not Attack and of the Clones. And they beat the shit out of everybody. Uh, let's see, Skywalker Saga. The second one's Attack of the Clones. The third oh. one is Revenge of the Sith. What was what happened in Attack of the Clones? Attack of the Clones is when they introduce uh, Count Dooku, and uh, it's it's like young adult teenager Anakin, and he falls in love with Padme. Oh yeah, and they you know they start you start seeing how he can have the dark side in him and shit. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I just saw that shit a long time ago. That movie wasn't good, though. That was a yeah. lot of talking. That's what they say. There was a lot of talking. It's like you can't have a lot of talking in Star Wars. It's not what we're here for, dog. Yeah, that shit was a lot of talking. And then the new ones had too, Anna, much, and too Anakin much action. Was, Anakin was all angsty and annoying. <laughs> Teenage angsty. Anakin. That shit was. Oh, that was so. It was like, it's weird. That movie dog. was so annoying. I hated dog. that. I hate Pat that movie. Pat so. had to be like, what? 16. I 16? think she was older than him. So she, she was, was way older than that nigga. Because he, was, <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was 10 and she was like a teenager. She was like a teenager, bro. I don't even understand. That nigga, that nigga was like 17 in the next one. <laughs> here's, here's the thing. I don't understand where Padme came from from the first movie. That's the real thing. Like, was she the same character? And then she just aged? Or was she like one of the Queen Amadellas? Like, no. Ain't it, Padme Queen Amadella? No. Padme's like Queen Amadella? No. Oh, Padme was... 
See, that's why. That's why you. That's why I'm lost on it. I'm fucked up. I'm I just fucked myself up. Yeah, I thought Padme was Queen shit. Amidala. That's what I was. Or thinking, Queen Amidala was. Not. Queen Amidala was a fake, and then Padme was an actual. Oh, never queen. mind. Wait, ain't that what it was? She was 14. Anakin was what, like 10? Uh, Bullshit. He was nine. He was nine. It says he was nine. She was 14. Oh, she is Queen Amidala. Yeah. Okay. I'm not tripping. I thought she was Queen Amidala because they killed. They killed her. But then they was like, that's a fake. Oh, that's and then like she the got away. Man. Yeah. Which is smart, dog. That's real smart. Dangerous as fuck, but that's real smart. But she was the queen. Didn't they have a queen, Amidala, in the second movie? Like, yeah, it was it, her. I thought they had a separate one. Because if, oh. you're, if you're the queen, why are you deciding to go get in a gunfight and shit? Because she's stupid. She likes little boys. You can't tell me she was fucking 14. And, no, I refuse. No, in the first movie. Oh, in the first still. You and can't tell not. me. And then she was 14. She hadn't, she hadn't seen him until he came back in the second movie. So at that point, he had to be a lot. Oh, he had to be a. That was like at least a five year difference. Oh, uh, let me see. So he was nine. And let's go to cast <laughs> Queen of Naboo, former Queen of Naboo, who was rec- who has recently been elected the planet senator. Okay, yeah. Uh, chosen one. It's oh, been ten years in the ten years since the Phantom Minutes, so it was ten years. So he was nineteen, and he was she 19. was what twenty four. Yeah, twenty four. No, I still refuse that. <laughs> I refuse. I mean, that's not that's that's outside of the egregious race. That's yeah. now you're in like ah, that's probably not a good decision, bro. I she I guess they gave her the age fourteen, but she didn't look fourteen in that fucking movie. She looked a lot older for <laughs> a character to be just fourteen. But she I mean, everybody people. looks older if you have a fucking gun in your hand and you're being <laughs> you're being shot at. <laughs> We've really gone off the rails. Who cares? Um, I can't even think. I guess we'll go with Talladega Nights. <laughs> yeah, we have Don't to. you put that on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> R.I.P. Put Mark that Clark evil on me. Oh, that brings uh, me. I uh, love Mark Clark. I wish you still here. All right, and we're back. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna happen. You're gonna have to sit and listen to that every Kevin single Hart. week until we get on Spotify. Kevin Hart. That's you. You don't get to determine how that works. <laughs> You're going to have to listen to that song every single week, Tevin, just to let you know. I tell you, on Spotify. I'm holding you, holding your ear seed, <coughs> and I will find worse music for you to be forced to listen to. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I will find worse music for you to listen to. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I feel like I want to do line readings where we like, <coughs> God, least, where we take a movie script and then we just read it terribly on purpose. Nah. But it's like a popular movie, movie script. You know, I might make that a YouTube series. Yeah, that's better for a YouTube series. No, you can do it audibly. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> audibly. Uh, oh. So, for whatever reason, I don't know why I found you make me want to. Great song. During the week. Great song. Oh, they were talking about. Uh, you know, I don't remember. But it was basically like Usher. Or maybe. No, I think it was people talk about like songs their parents used to listen to or some shit. I don't know. I can't remember now. I really can't. But it came up because the dude's mom. Because the dude's mom. Uh, the dude's mom had him when she was like sixteen, oh, so she okay. was young and he was young listening to music. Yeah, that and makes shit. sense. And I was like, so you make me want to leave the one I'm with and start a new relationship with you. So is that Usher saying to the girl? That he wants to do that, or is that just like his inner dialogue thinking out loud? Because those are two very different things. Okay, well, let's go over the lyrics. All right, I'm, I'm gonna pull them up. You pull them up. You read them line by line so you get to the part where. <clears throat> where we, well, let me pull mine up. So Wait, why does this pull up blue? Uh, uh sure, clear. You make me wanna leave. Okay, you make me want to leave the one I'm with, start a new relationship with you. This is what you do. Think about a ring and all the things that come along with. What? Like a ring? Like marriage? Uh, He said, before anything began between us, you were like my best friend. The one I used to run and talk to when me and my girl was having problems. Yes. You used to say it would be okay, so just little things, little nice things I should do. And when I go home at night and lay my head down, all I seem to think about is you. How you make me want to? 
now what's bad is you're the one that hooked us up knowing it should have been you what's sad is i is i love her but i'm falling for you what should i do should i tell my baby oh, yeah, bye that's, bye that's an alarm. should i do exactly what i feel inside because i don't want to go don't need to stay but i really need to get it together that's in the dialogue okay. that little that second verse makes it in the dialogue because <clears throat> the way he refers to his girl and her Maybe the first one is cheating and the second one is inner dialogue. No, they're both inner dialogue. Okay, that's why that's what I need to clarify. Cause I didn't bother listening to the song after that. Just to keep it <laughs> you know, just just for conscience, just for discovery, just for live discovery. And then the third verse is at this point the situation's out of control. I never meant to hurt her, but I gotta let her go. And she may not understand it while all of this is going on. I tried, I tried to I fight tried it, but the so feeling is just too strong. Just to stop me, 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 me. Oh shit! Never mind. Jermaine Dupri's on it. He was definitely cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Jermaine Dupri ain't shit, nigga. Yeah, he's Jermaine Dupri's involved. Oh yeah, he definitely did that. <laughs> oh man, Jermaine. We, we had to have a documentary on Jermaine Dupri. That nigga's a success story. I was going to say, <laughs> you can't just say we need a documentary on some doc. Having a documentary on you is now a bad thing. It's, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Depending on how strong I mean, it back to bad. See, there was like, oh, the Rockefeller doc and the Def Jam doc, and docs were good. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. now it's like, oh, R. Kelly <laughs> is a monster. The Fry Festival. The Fry Festival. Donald Trump. I haven't watched them. Thirteen. And shit, you don't want a documentary. You don't want a documentary now. Nah, they're just going to yeah. just dig up and all. When they're talking about about Michael Jackson at the at the Canes Festival, that no one has seen yet. Really, everybody's waiting for that shit to drop because they said they found more kids or some some shit like that. No, I'm going to, that's going not even, here that say, wasn't even real. It's not real. Not the document, but like the allegation. Oh, it the allegations, just, yeah. Because all none of the kids uh, actually said that anything happened. It was all a cash grab. Because the. Uh, Big Rich or whatever, he was like, "No, uh, my I took my kids to Michael Jackson's house all the time, and TMZ approached me to TMZ. say it was TMZ or something or Time Magazine. It was somebody. It was a big publication that approached him to to ask him to say that Michael Jackson touched his kids, and he was like, "Fuck no! Like I go to this nigga house. No, he ain't touching my kids. I didn't <laughs> kill them. So that was." Just, they was just trying to get him trapped. They was just trying to get him trapped up. They was just trying to take down a black man. Imagine, imagine the nigga, <laughs> the nigga told them niggas, "Fuck, I go to this nigga house. I'm not finna lose this." <laughs> None of it's true, but it's like, yeah, I'm definitely not finna say some shit. Like, so no. not be able to go. You know how cool this nigga house is, bro. No, I'm just saying, like, bro, I've been at his house. He's not touching kids. Yeah. Like, he's he's a he he's, dead he's with, a weird nigga. But yeah, he's weird because he didn't have a childhood, and now he has the money to afford all the things. Things that a child would ever think that yeah. they would ever want. So yeah, that's kind of just over the <laughs> Look, time. But, child, child nigga was born in like the seventies or some shit. He, so everything he likes as a child is some shit that a nigga from the seventies would fucking love. They don't give a shit about that shit in the nineties. <laughs> what are, what the Nintendo's at, nigga? I don't give a fuck about no monkeys and no giraffes and no elephants. No, Michael Jackson was in the sixties. Sixties, even worse. He was born in fifty. He was yeah. born in fifty. My that's, dad was a, was an old man. Yeah, that's what these <sighs> niggas want to see. <laughs> the Michael Jackson thinks these niggas want to see fucking <laughs> giraffes. You want to go outside to the zoo and pet giraffes? Nah, bro. But you got Nintendo. well, he had that bunny in like the late eighties, early nineties. Mario, 90s and shit. bro. He still had the the. the I was saying like he he was getting all that shit. In the nineties, so you know we we did the video games weren't sophisticated enough for you to only play video games. Like you was still going sure. outside. Uh, I guess he did have that, that amusement, that Ferris wheel and shit. Yeah, yeah, the amusement part. He tried to say he was broke. That nigga was not broke, bro. He nigga had the whole catalog of the Beatles songs. That nigga was no. Who was trying to say he was broke? He was, niggas was saying he was broke when he was dying. Like when he was dead, niggas was trying to say that he owed so much money to so many people, and it's like no, that nigga had the nigga had the Beatles catalog no, he, off rip. If, he got money. if anything, he was going to pay people a bunch of money because he was doing the This Is It tour. Yeah. So he was on a big ass tour. That whole sold out immediately. Immediately. Niggas and, forget how how much he could put. Michael Jackson could put out an album at any point in time and fucking sell out. Nah, there's no way he was. Yeah, niggas saw, niggas used to say that shit. Oh, Michael Jackson, he broke. He ain't got no money. How? He was the biggest pop star in the world, bro. His, I bet his biggest regret is not only the, the the masses to 
Oh, thriller. apparently five. Okay, here's an article. Five years after the death of Michael Jackson, a two man watched over him reveal his extravagant purchases and how he ended up so broke they had to pay for his petrol. That's bullshit. I don't believe that. It says he shit. died deeply in debt. This is Billboard. No, I don't believe that shit. Because you can't see the money, don't mean you in debt. Mm. Keep it, keep it a buck like this. Nigga ain't owe the IRS no money. If you don't owe the IRS no money, you not in debt. Oh damn! It's, <clears throat> it said in March he had faced foreclosure on Neverland. He had also repeatedly failed to make mortgage payments on a house in Los Angeles that had been used by years by his family. Damn, maybe he was broke. And he was being he was catching a whole bunch of lawsuits. From against a slew of lawsuits, including a $7 million came from Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. I did not expect the rest of that name to come up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I ran out of breath. <laughs> I was, I just, I was going to read Sheikh Abdullah and I thought like the rest was a title <laughs> or like the rest of the sins, but that was the rest of his name. The second son of the King uh, Bahrain. Bahrain? No, it's B A H. R A I N Bahrain. It wouldn't be Bahrain. It's B A H. You don't pronounce the H separately, dumbass. That you do in fucking other countries, nigga. Like, yeah, they pronounce the every letter in the name. Yeah, Bahrain, not Bahrain, uh, nigga. The fuck? Bahrain. It sounds not, better. No, that's just. <laughs> all right, I'm joking. All right, Mila Kunis, nigga. <laughs> Kunis. <laughs> uh. Bahrain. I don't. I, don't, I had just motherfuckers was trying to sue him and shit. Mm. Guess I was wrong. I don't know if he was broke, bro. I don't think he I was th- broke. I think people just kept shit just kept coming up, mm. and he kept having to pay for shit. Fucking slew of, but shit, that nigga had money. I can't see him losing all that money in twenty years time. But I guess if you're not touring and you're not doing nothing else. He was an old man trying to go on tour again and dance and shit. That shit had to, had to be a wear and tear on his body. Yeah, then they was on like heavy, he, then it was on like astronomical doses of opioids and shit. Yeah. Like then it was, then nigga was taking like surgical. Yeah, great. Like he was taking like surgical fucking anesthetics and shit daily and shit. Like shit they use to put you to sleep for like open heart surgery. He was taking that shit daily. Yeah, damn, bro. Yeah, that was that was some shit. Yeah. But I mean, he had autoimmune disease and shit, and was fucking working his ass off. Like, yeah, trying to get back into shape, trying to get him to be on, be on top of shit. shit. Yeah, I have no idea he how we just gave niggas an album and a terrible tour and been done with it. I'm gonna be real with you. I still have no idea how we got here yet again. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? I have no idea. Let's just move on. <laughs> I just, <laughs> <laughs> just rabbit hole after rabbit where hole. Where the fuck did we start? <laughs> now I'm concerned because I, I, where the fuck did we come from, from Michael Jackson? I don't know. Uh, oh my god! So I'm gonna start. A, I was actually supposed to do it ahead of time, but then I got home and started watching uh fucking Bruce Lee movies, so I forgot to do this. <laughs> I'm gonna start a GoFundMe. For to to build you a gaming PC because you're not getting it done and I'm tired of waiting. Sorry, I got responsibilities. <laughs> I'm tired of I got a new business. I didn't start it, nigga. I'm trying. You started the wrong business. Just I'm, a gaming PC. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna start a GoFundMe. Uh, however, that shit turns out, uh, basically it's gonna be my PC that you can use. So I'm just starting to GoFundMe for my second computer. <laughs> I like. Them niggas gonna look at that shit. Niggas, <laughs> cancer. Nigga needs funeral arrangements. Fuck it. This nigga need a PC. <laughs> Build a second PC. That Five dollars. That, <laughs> that Tevin might be allowed to use. There's no guarantee. I will not guarantee. I'm, I'm gonna put all this shit in it. <laughs> I will not guarantee. <laughs> I will not guarantee that he will be allowed to use. Fucking go for me. You're like, get the fuck off our website. They're they gonna, they gonna IP block your ass. <laughs> You don't have a real need to go up there and, and fucking help somebody. They're going to be like, get the fuck off our website, nigga. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I'm going to start a petition for us to get on Spotify, but the petition is going to be aimed at you. 
<laughs> like <laughs> hostily. It's not even gonna be for against Spotify. It's just gonna be aimed at you. Um, I'm just gonna fuck it. You know what? I'm gonna go up tonight. I'm gonna go up there tonight and just buy the shit. If, if people, fuck up. if you listen to this far enough podcast, just understand that I purposely do things on the podcast to annoy Timmy because Timmy purposely does things in life that annoys me. I do. <laughs> I do. But, I do. I don't, I don't even like sort of hide it. <laughs> I just flat out either just, don't do some shit. He just annoys the fuck out of me. I so just flat I do out things, don't do some shit. I do things on this podcast. <laughs> Fucking show Specifically I'm against Tevin. I'm a terrible human being. <laughs> I still haven't got my shit together. I'm almost 30. <laughs> Alright, let's get a moment of silence to to dispel all the silliness. Because I have a genuine question. <laughs> I have a genuine I get, question. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, how did Helen Keller learn language? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> this is a serious question. <laughs> With that, and then it starts with how the hell Kelly is it's not a good question. Not necessarily. Okay, what what was it? My thing is, how does she learn language? Because, like, did she? Because I I've never seen, I haven't seen a miracle worker since like ninety something. So, was she? Did she have her senses before and lost them? And lost like. Lost them, or did was she just born like that? Like she was just born. I said she was born like that. Cause it's like okay, yeah, you can write the alphabet on her hand, but how would she have any kind of like? I know just words you're looking for. Yeah, like how would her brain be able to just tell you that that's an A or what yeah to fuck? fathom what the alphabet is and then be able if to you can't like explain that you together. can't explain the alphabet to her because she can't physically mm. see it yeah like or how can, she can't hear like it how either. do you explain the alphabet to her to begin with if she's never she's never heard anything she can't read anything and uh she well not speaking does it it's not written whatever but it's like she can't she can't read it so like she can't read it where it's like okay well she can she just use sign language because she can't speak but then she can't hear so she can't learn language by hearing it and just be able to talk out loud and, and just see it. use braille where then you can explain b- what braille what is braille to her is and then she could be like okay this is a this is b this is t this is u and like it's like I don't know. Some some has to be ex- exaggerated. Like maybe she was partially blind, but not completely blind. Helen, because that just that's Helen. just that's literally impossible. You like if you cover my eyes and you and you plug up my ears and you just do this. What the? I have no. There's no. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no. Mm. There's nothing for me to go off of to know what the fuck that means. You just doing shit on my hand. B and you trying to mouth it to me, I can't hear it. So how the fuck am I going? C, D. Okay, never. Well, now nah. it says at 19 months old, contract the unknown illness described by doctors as acute congestion of the stomach and the brain, which may have been scarlet fever or meningitis. Probably meningitis. The illness left her both deaf and blind. We still we talk, we still talking about a baby though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to read through. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, she had more than 60 home... By the age of seven, Keller had more than 60 home signs to communicate with her family. Even though blind and deaf, passed through many obstacles, and she learned to live with her disability. She learned how to tell which person was walking from the vibrations in her footsteps. That sounded like bullshit. Not the vibrations thing, but the, the learning how to... The learning shit, cause that's still. I mean, maybe she just, maybe she just developed her own speaking. Yeah, like her own kind of sign language, and they just understood what she. They just learned to understand what she could uh convey. I mean, they said they make a personal signs and shit. People, kids do that shit all the time. Uh. Uh, is yearning for your love. She said, beginning with with spell words into her hand, beginning with doll for the doll that she had brought Keller as a present. 
But how does she know what a dog is? I mean, uh, you can... If she's fucking 10 years old, she can identify that a, a object is a doll by the touching it. Yeah. But it's like, how would she... <laughs> huh? Excuse me. I don't know. It's, just, it's, it's way... There's way... It's way more uh, involved than uh, my short attention span will be able to get. <laughs> at least on this podcast. I'll just have to like read it wow. further down. Erica Badu. Oh my god. What? Speak on it. Oh my god. Speak on it. You gotta speak on it because you said it out loud into the mic. Erica Badu says she's putting up a prayer for R. Kelly. Yeah, but no, we don't give a fuck about her. She's dead to us. That ass though. No. It's gone. I now. just came up here to see the score. It's flat. Her ass is flat now. It is? Yeah, it's flat now. Really? Nigga, she didn't support it. R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, and, <laughs> oh, you said and, it and, girl, and girls wearing uh, longer skirts because they distract men. She she got a flat butt and she never said anything worth listening to. <laughs> she's, she says a lot of wild shit, dog. No, she's just trash. She's just trash. I mean, she's from Dallas, so that's all you need to know. Oh, wow. The Rams and came back on that ass. We're not doing football updates on this. Sorry. Uh, I just want to see because uh, I know the nigga gonna be talking hell of shit tomorrow if the Ram, if the Saints win. Well, I'm not yeah. waiting for that New Orleans accident but, to get uh, on my face. Uh, so I didn't realize, or I didn't remember that Queen made both "We Are the Champions" and Queen "We has Will Rock You." Bangers. I didn't dog. realize that they made both of those songs. Yes, bruh. That sounded gay. I'm sorry. <laughs> it kind of sort of just came out. There's nothing wrong it, with gay people. How does it sound gay? The way I said it just sort of, it came out like. There's, you can't sound gay. Uh, I, mean, not, I didn't mean it in a negative term. Yes, you did. I didn't mean yes, it in a negative term. No, I mean like I sounded did. like I I sounded like one of the dudes who, who, you know what? Let me stop before I get too far behind. You should have just not did it. Yeah. Or Anyways. I didn't know that they made those songs. They got bangers, I bro. I, it's like I would under pressure. I would learn that they make the song, yeah. and then I would just never hear the song if forever. And then another the, one bites the, the dust. Dollars would just fly out of my brain. Yeah, Queen got bangers, bro. Another one bites the dust under pressure. I don't know what under pressure is. Doom, 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 doom. Dun, 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 oh, dun, the song dun, dun, that uh, dun, you know, dun, dun, I just heard that dun, dun, fact dun, dun, when I yeah. when I heard about them uh. Making no songs, yeah, because of somebody somebody was talking about the movie and how the movie was just way. In, oh, you know, it was Hamble Bird's podcast. Uh, he see, brung on, you got another episode out too. I saw the shit, I didn't like the shit. I'm not gonna lie, he was doing some weird shit, and I'm kind of uh, if you on Hannibal Burr's. Well, basically, our podcast is kind of like theirs, except they are they have more, more. things to. <laughs> They have like more tools to be that much uh, more morning. random. <laughs> like handle like just randomly singing. Tony Trim is just like messing with a beat maker and shit. Yeah. They got a theremin and shit. <laughs> I want a theremin. Well nigga, you don't even have a gaming PC, so stop. <laughs> well say yeah, they got bangers, bro. And then we not even, we not even talking about Bohemian Rhapsody. Never heard it. You never heard Bohemian Rhapsody? No. Really? I have not listened. I have, at no point in my life have I ever taken out the time to listen to Queen. Wow. Well, I'm surprised you didn't hear Bohemian Rhapsody just randomly. They played, that should be in so many commercials and randomly. I mean, there's like random parts, time. but I've never heard the whole thing. How does shit go? It go, uh, it goes something like, Mama Mia, Mama Mia. No, it go, it go, it you don't go. No, you're trash. No, I'm bugging. I'm tripping. It go, uh, Fake Mama, queen fan here. Fake queen I've fan here. A man, put a gun against his head. Pull my trigger now he's dead. What the fuck? Mama Life had just begun. Fake queen fan. But here. now I think I've thrown it all away. Yeah, you are. The drums came in. Mama. To make you cry If I'm not back again This time tomorrow Carry on Carry on Cause nothing really matters That song is amazing White people love that song We talk about white people loving uh, What song do I say white people love 
know we, right, you, you know what? Behind I the know. Rhapsody. I remember the Queen. Those two songs from fucking uh, this nigga says the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> the Mighty Ducks. No, fucking we are the champions. Bro, because they had they had <laughs> we will at whatever and game. We will rock you. And then they had we are the champions at the end yeah, of the movie. And the I will watch, I will play it. I would play that movie all the way to the end of that song Bruh. in the credits every time. Bruh. I would never stop it before it. My favorite part is definitely the We Will Rock You part where the niggas is like, when they come back and they down and they playing the hard team and shit and they down and the dude's like, come on, let's go whoop their ass. He's like, hell yeah. And then the beat start, doom, doom, ch, doom, doom, ch, doom, doom, ch. That might be top. That's definitely it's top five non rap songs that get me going, dog. I be ready to punch somebody when I hear "We Will Rock You." Start flipping chairs over and shit. <laughs> Hit a nigga with a chair. We will. As soon as you hear that, don't don't. Dog, Queen got the jams, bro. Hey, so uh, how is Owen Wilson any good? No. Are you sure? Yeah. He's not good. You're you're wrong. No, he's not. First good. of all, name one movie that you cared about Owen Wilson in. I Spy. Name two movies you care about. Awesome. <laughs> wedding Crashes. Wedding Crashes. I was by Wedding Crashes. Depends on what he does. Let me say that. I he, would say he's not bad. He he had, he basically had. Uh, uh, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot you love I Spy. Terrible <laughs> fucking movie. That is that is one of my favorite movies ever. <laughs> We definitely talked about it on this podcast that's, before. That's, that's like the Eddie Murphy, Owen Wilson. Uh, that's like uh, that's like okay. I I was you trying to make a second. A train. No, I was trying to make a second comparison while still thinking about the first. Owen Wilson is basically like Doctor J. Like he had some good early years, but they don't count anymore. <laughs> and then he he didn't do that great in in the time that we now count. But then he had that one year. Like Doctor J has one champion, one NBA championship. That was Owen Wilson doing <laughs> wedding sp- crashers at I, I Spy. spy. They weren't even the same year, but they were like the same kind of year. Because, <clears throat> you know, Dr. J was in the ABA first, but then by the time they merged to the NBA, he couldn't stay with his team. Yeah. And, uh, like, the he could have been on the Knicks, but the Knicks refused to pay, like, $2 million to get him or some shit. And then, like, the Nets had to play like pay, like, this stupid territorial tax or stuff. Some stupid shit. To uh, get them. Because, you know, the the, the the leagues made terrible decisions before, like, 1980. And all this... I, it was a Wild West, basically. Not even Wild West. It's just everybody just did dumb shit. <laughs> it's just a bunch of dumb shit. Sound like the Wild West to me. No, Wild West is just, like, anything can happen. But this was just, like, why did you make that decision? It's like, what? That was stupid. Everybody was just stupid. And so he, that's how he ended up on the 76ers. And then he, you get to the 80s, and he's aging and shit. Oh, yeah. Because they were in the finals in, what was that, 1980? When uh they played, or was that 81? I think it was 80, where they played the Lakers. And, you know, Kareem gets hurt. Magic Johnson goes and wins the championship on the road without Kareem didn't even go to Philly. Oh, damn. He didn't even go. And, and Magic Johnson had like 45, 12, and 9. <coughs> Damn, and he was shit. balling. Nigga balled out. That was Dr. J. Goodyear. <coughs> that was I Spy. And then the actual championship was uh, Wedding, Wedding Crashers. Speaking of basketball, real quick. It's my theory. And I kind of, it's probably wrong. I feel like we should, we shouldn't, we should asterisk Will Chamberlain from the records. No. Really? No. Nigga can't drop a 100-point game in a time when niggas barely played any defense. No, you can't drop it. That's weak. It wasn't his choice. That's weak. No <laughs> one's ever going to get a 100-point game ever. Well, that's their fucking fault. I mean, but you know what you got to do to hit, hit a Like, nigga has to he can get every possession. That's their fucking every fault. Every time. Will Chamberlain was the most dominant individual of that time. Uh, must have bunks of white boys who didn't know you could that dunk. That wasn't his fault. They, that, that, that wasn't that, his that fault that they weren't letting other black people on <laughs> NBA team. That wasn't his. They had a That's fucking. They basically had fuck. a. They they basically had like a two black pay, a two black player per team like minimum. unwritten rule. Yeah, that wasn't a minimum. That was like was the max. You could have like three black people max on a team at like the 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 fifties well, and sixties yeah. and shit. 
in the seventies. Like that's weak. That was that wasn't his fault. Like if they had let all the black athletes in the league, it would have been different. But they yeah. weren't letting them. That, that's, had, that's what I'm saying. He had have to be an asterisk. There's, no, that's that not says his racism. Fault. He couldn't. He couldn't control that. He, all he could do was just be like, "Hey, I'm gonna go get fifty points a game. And get shit. fifty points a game. Drop a hundred points on a team's head. I mean, and they drop lost. a hundred points. But on they the team. lost. They lost that game. <laughs> they lost that game. After he dropped a hundred on the teams, that nigga just going out there shooting. He he. They lost that hoe. He, he doing coke, fucking hoes, and shooting. That's they, it. They lost that's game. all this game. That's you all he did. It'd be different if they won by like fifty. It was like he was just he was just running up the score. That's that nigga a was just thing. being a dick. No, he was like just pass me the ball. Yeah, just give me the fucking ball. That's it. Right, I'm going for a record tonight. Just give me the ball. What did say Larry got ninety nine? All right, <laughs> just give me the ball tonight. No, they just. They just... He has like the majority of the records that no one can touch because well, like, his co- level of competition well, just was the, ass. Just, well, just the scoring records, but everything else. Still is though, big. like you, you, you have a nigga like you have a nigga dropping fifty a night because they can only that's like fifty sixty a night. I think what Kobe dropped eighty, eighty one. That's the closest you can get. You know what I'm saying? And that's because his level of competition is better than a bunch of six foot white boys with no coordination. Well, that's not Will Chamberlain's fault. He can still play he with did. an actual peach. He did his job. <laughs> he did then his they was job. like, yo, well, the ghetto has a bunch of these niggas that can jump. He did his job. Just let him in the league. Uh, Owen Wilson is great. Let's go through. Let's look at Owen Wilson's IMDb. Owen Wilson. <laughs> Have you caught up on the rewatchables? Not yet, bro. The new season is so fucking funny. I think the last one was what Airplane was the last one I listened to. That's pretty close. Yeah, I, I feel like I've listened to Airplane in like the last. I listened month. to the. <laughs> I listened to the. Uh, <laughs> to the. Uh, the what's the movie called? Um, with with Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze. Oh. Uh, uh, I was about to say face off for some reason. It's not face off. I, <laughs> I just, listen to the I just point. like the face off one. I listen to point the point break. Chase Rado. I, I listen action. to the. No, that's a terrible not movie. What? <laughs> <laughs> like no, this is a good fucking movie. <laughs> he was ready to fight that I listen, man. No, in fact, I listened to that like earlier this week. <laughs> just, just, just for the hell of it. Yeah, I told you he had my respect when he said somebody, somebody comes into a party and tells you that he needs to watch is a terrible actor. They need to have is a, that a fight. He's mode. like, hell yeah, that's a fucking fight. <laughs> So uh, that's my type of nigga. No, you got you got to get to the new season because on the Godfather one, they would talk about the dude in the movie who shows up at the wedding and he's supposed to be like like the like the Frank Sinatra, but like the dude was lame and he wasn't a good actor and he was like kind of old and Bill was like yeah he was trying to he was supposed to be Frank Sinatra and got mad and they were like oh, well he wasn't really Frank Sinatra and then Bill just. And Bill was just like, yeah, no, Frank Sinatra was like super cool. They're like, okay, that's not what we're saying. He's like, no, you're saying that Frank Sinatra's not cool. <laughs> and that was just, he just kept saying, it. they're like, no, that's not what uh, we're saying. Nah, white boys love Frank Sinatra. <laughs> what? They're like, no, that's not what we're saying. We were just saying that he wasn't Frank Sinatra. <laughs> wasn't <laughs> Frank Sinatra, Sinatra in the movie. He's like, no, Frank Sinatra went up to him and was mad because he made him look uncool. It's like, Look, Bill. That's not. <laughs> that's not. That's not, that's not what we're saying. saying. And then, and the, and then, in the next rewatchables. Yeah, he was kind of lame. And then, in the next rewatchables for old school, uh, <laughs> Chris Ryan was like, "Damn, my mouth keep getting dry because it's fucking allergy, allergy medicine." <laughs> Chris Ryan was like, "Oh, uh, Luke Wilson could have been Harrison Ford in a different universe." You know, like Luke Wilson is Harrison Ford. He's like, "No, that's not what I'm saying." <laughs> it's like, then what are you saying? <laughs> Basically, he was saying that in another universe, like, if all of Harrison Ford's movies weren't made until 20 years later, Luke Wilson could have been in them. Not saying that he's, not saying Luke Wilson as he is now, okay? Go back to, like, 1999, Luke Wilson gets swole, he could have been Harrison Ford instead of Luke Wilson. Luke Wilson, like Owen Wilson's brother? Yeah. Instead of being like the regular man, like what movie was he in in two thousand nine so I can I mean nineteen ninety nine so I can have a No the two thousand nine or nineteen ninety nine. The idea his he was saying that in another universe 
Luke Wilson could have been Harrison Ford. That's all he was saying. That in another universe, nigga, no. If, <laughs> if one, if one sliding door went a different way, he could have basically. My thing, I agree with him because it's basically like Harrison Ford is one end of the spectrum. Luke Wilson is the other end. It was like that the br- the brown haired white guy, brown haired American white oh, guy. Oh, so we saying like you you changing the whole dynamic of the movie where it's like more serious. It's, it's a silly, no, 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 it's no. a silly kind of movie with a serious actor. It's a silly movie with no, a silly actor. No, That's what you're no, no. Okay, they fit the same mold of this is just an American guy, brown I mean, hair. Most of listen, the listen, Chris listen, Pratt could have been listen, listen, listen. You're not listening. Okay. I don't know why I'm so upset. I've never listen, seen this movie listen, at all, but I've kind of listen, upset about it. Stop talking. Listen. Okay. I'm listening. Six foot tall. Yeah. Brown hair, brown eyed, yeah. American. All American. There's nothing about him that's not American, okay? Okay. One end is Harrison Ford. Yeah. Action. He's going to be your action hero. Yeah. That same guy, different route, <laughs> is Luke Wilson. But he's all comedy. It's the same. Okay. 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 Same guy, but he is. I'll talk. He just chose a different direction. Harrison Ford, action hero, drama. Luke Wilson might be funny, <laughs> right? The might be funny. The guy in the middle. The guy in the middle. I already forgot his name. Uh, what's his name? Who's, Chris Pratt. No, who's the dude who did? Uh, who did? Who's Deadpool? Ryan Reynolds. Okay, Ryan Reynolds is the middle of that. Ah, I can but, definitely but see. But towards, it. but like, like sixty forty comedy to action. <coughs> Even yeah. though it's not American, because Ryan Wilson just looks like an American dude, just brown hair, I mean, brown eyes, Canadian. So, but he looks like I didn't know that till last week. Yeah, he's Canadian. No, no, I. Now you now you don't like him. <laughs> no, I, I just didn't know. But it's like Ryan Wilson is still a little goofy and a little dark humor. So he's, but it's like he can he can be Deadpool because it's still like he can do the action, but he can't do like the Harrison Ford only like I've only thrown a right handed punch the entire movie action. <laughs> he really that really happened. <laughs> I gotta go back and watch. Hey, watch fucking- I've never seen him. I've never cared about him. Never watch Indiana. No, Jones? I've never seen him. I've Bro, never cared about him. With you? I don't know. <laughs> I've never cared about. You him. gotta at least watch him once. I, I, I mean, I probably had to go back. I gotta see if you got Hulu or you something. You gotta, you need to watch him so you get all the references. I understand what you're saying. I know Indiana Ford. I mean, Indiana Ford. Indiana Jones and Harrison Ford was Indiana Jones. I no, just I you, haven't had a chance to like. You have to. You need to watch them. I understand so then, what you mean though. So then, when you see all the references, like I, I got it. I understand what you mean though. What you saying on the scale though, like yeah, you know, support like, the more serious, serious type of like. Oh, it's a it's a serious serious ish movie with funny shit in it. Like compared to Old yeah. Wilson doing it, where it's just it's, it's a straight up comedy. Yeah, but he might do something physical. Yeah, it's a serious. It's a serious story, but with a comedic feel to it. Whereas, no, it's only, a serious story with funny shit sprinkled out throughout it. No, shit. no. On Wilson's just flat out, yeah, like, goofing his way Harrison through Ford everything. It's like a serious movie, but you might find something to laugh at. Like if oh, you watch, his shit is like just, like Temple of Doom. There's moments where it's like, ha, yeah, or like, uh, what was the movie with like the Nazis and like he's fighting like this Raiders giant- of the Lost Ark. <clears throat> I don't remember which one is it. Raiders it's of not the Lost Temple Ark. of Doom. But he's fighting like this. I, I don't think it was. Eh, he, the Nazis is Raiders of the Lost. But I don't think the dude was a Nazi. I think he had on like a turban. But he was fighting a dude. But he, but it was on like an airfield, oh, and one of the dudes was a giant. So he was just whooping his ass. And then it was like a plane that they was trying to turn the plane around. And like the dude, like like the dude had Harrison Ford on his back. It was about to keep whooping his ass. And he turns around, and the plane was rotating, and he gets chopped up by the propeller. <laughs> it's like that's like that was funny because it's like bro you was getting your ass whooped but you just made it out alive it's like that's funny but it's not like ha 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 and Harrison Ford is not gonna be like ha 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 but yeah, Owen Wilson Ford. is just like I oh, mean Luke wow. Wilson is just like straight up like oh wow oh, wow now nah, well let's stop because I don't think Owen Wilson does that I mean Luke Wilson does that <laughs> no he Wilson. doesn't he doesn't have the, the that that voice to it but he's like but he's always like, kind of like, oh, this is way more than I expected. That that's his character. That's his that's his like typecast. It's like, yeah, he's in some shit, but he wasn't entirely prepared for that type of shit. So it's just like, 
oh yes <laughs> like it's like it old school like he come he tries to like surprise his girl by coming home early for a conference mm-hmm. and she's watching porn and he thought she was cheating on him but she's just watching the porn out loud he's, and he's like oh you're into this he's like oh no let's explore this let's i'm into it <laughs> but then but then she's about to have a gang bang <laughs> and I was two two blindfolded people come out the bathroom. He's like, "What the fuck?" And then they're talking in the kitchen after. And then a douche was like, "Oh, I'm here for the gangbang." <laughs> like that's that's like Luke Wilson's Luke like Wilson's like MO. baseline. Yeah, it's either that or like when he was on that '70s show, and he's just like the degenerate. He was on that '70s show. Yes, he was like Donna's new boyfriend, but he was like a terrible boyfriend. <laughs> And he like he he was he was Kelso's older brother. Oh yeah, he was he Kelso's like, older brother. He had like the Hemi and shit. And yeah, he was a dickhead. Yeah, but that's like that's like all that's like his, it, his like, that's where he could just like that's uh that's like his comfort zone. Either he's a star or he's the fucking dickhead. <laughs> I feel you. Wasn't he in the Garfield movies too? Garfield? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm, he was in the Garfield movies. I, I'm gonna tell you those are just removed from my memory. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he played. I wanted to say he was in I'm in the Chipmunks, but I think that was the other guy who played. My name is Earl. Those are also not in my memory. <laughs> I just I just, I will acknowledge that they exist. I will not acknowledge, acknowledge you seen them. that they. Exist. I don't think I've ever seen them, but I just remember him being in that movie. Maybe I'm wrong. Who gives a fuck? Well, it's not like I'm gonna go back and look those up. <laughs> Uh, what are comedy movies with a good sequel? Because in general, comedy movies do not have good sequels, but there are some good ones. Beverly Hills Cop Two, I love that movie. Yeah, Alphabet Killer, the shit with the vitamins, that shit was so funny. Love Beverly Hills Cop Two. There's Rush Hour Two, it's a great movie. Oh, let me think. Which which Rush Hour? When they went to China. Okay. And yeah, then they had to come good. back, and they ended that up invading. The movie's great. That was amazing. I don't think there's never been a bad Rush Hour movie. Even the third one was pretty good. The third one It was is, a lesser quality of the two. Yeah, it's kind of forgettable, three, but... It was, it's still pretty good. Okay. Compared to a lot of other third <laughs> movies, that was pretty good. Like Iron Man 3. Yeah, it was wasn't trash. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. Yeah. Uh, I've heard Caddyshack 2 is never good. Seen it. I've never seen either Caddyshack. I've never seen Wayne World either. I've seen Wayne's World. The original, yeah, but not the I've seen them one. both, but that was definitely... In the nineties, that was before I moved because yeah. I saw it like late, yeah, and on like a, like my grandma's old TV where it's just like this giant box giant on the floor, box. and I'm sitting on the floor in front of it. That was, it was <coughs> yeah, I saw that one like I saw them on like a Saturday night. Uh, Austin Powers two, the spy who shagged me, yeah, That's yeah, a good movie. Uh. Ace Ventura 2. Ace Ventura for sure. I love Ace Ventura when they should. That movie is so ridiculous. Yeah, just over the top. Just my my favorite thing is saying like a glove. Like a glove. We just <laughs> we just crashes the vehicle. It does like 14 flips. Yeah, yeah. It like just a lands. <laughs> and then he does it a second time when it lands <laughs> upside down. Uh Home Alone. Home Alone. Two. Not I mean, I can't say because I don't remember it. Two isn't that great. Because Home Alone, t- I, I, you know, I'm going to have to say Home Alone 2. You're going to say Home Alone 2? People love Home Alone and Home Alone 2. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to count it. Uh, scary Movie. Scary Movie 2. two the best one. Dog, my dad <laughs> took us to theaters to see it, but we showed up late. And I definitely saw the part where he uh, sexually assaults a clown dog. <laughs> after the clown dog sexually <laughs> assaults him. Yeah, that shit was hilarious. I saw that. My dad took us to see that. That, shit. that had been the best Indian. one. You know, I think. You know, I think. I think we went to Astro. We either went to Astro World or we went bowling or something that day. And then we got to the like. We just went to the movies. And yeah. It's like, oh, this is it. You know what? I think we were at a movie. The movie finished, and then we just went into scary movie. Went into scary movie. That shit was special. <laughs> <laughs> when, a, when a little skeleton was chasing old girl. Yeah, and she's just running for life. Yeah. And, and then the, nigga, the girl and then Gino, was like, like just, she just, just, just like, yes, just eat her ass and go away. And <laughs> Kill her ass, ass and, and go away. And then she, it's like, why the fuck did you bring it? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, she was supposed to eat you and leave. And then she no, said, she's like, why couldn't you just die? Oh, yeah. And, and then, Sydney, it's a motherfucking skeleton. <laughs> 
Who, what name did she say in that city? <laughs> like, would you be scared of somebody? <laughs> uh, scary. Now, we're not progressing until I figure out what was this uh <laughs> skeleton. <laughs> die, bitch, please die. It's the first, <laughs> the first hit from YouTube. <laughs> oh my god! Try to see if I can find the script. Who was it? Neil Patrick Harris was, just, was in that fucking movie. Both was that way. Neil Patrick Harris? Yes, Neil Patrick Harris was in that movie. He was, he was gay. I thought that was a different dude. No, that then- was Neil Patrick Harris. <coughs> <laughs> Neil Patrick that Harris was be. in that movie. Yeah, it was Neil Patrick Harris. I'm pretty sure that was Neil Patrick Harris. Skeleton uh, quotes. You can't keep running in and out of my life. Oh, they done tied it up. Oh, right, well, I put skeleton again. I'm trying to look up two things at once. Scary movie two. Cast. Uh, who was Buddy? I don't know who half these names are. No, it was it. It's some dude named Christopher Masterson. That wasn't Neil Patrick. I thought no, Patrick. nigga. I'm bugging. Hell no, Christopher. Yeah, it's Christopher Masterson. See, you getting these white boys confused. They all look alike. And that, I know for a fact that wasn't Neil Patrick Harris. My oh, name. That, that, I don't know why I thought that was Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, she said, would you run from Cal- Callista Flockhart? I don't know who the fuck that is. You know what's you know what they also did in fucking scary movie two? They did Charlie's Angels. <coughs> yeah, that's stupid ass. And shit. the chick did a fucking camel top. <laughs> that was so stupid. They had the part where she she wanted to fuck the ghost or some shit and the ghost pulls up her pulls up her thing, pulls out her pants and pull up her thing and it says Tuesday and it's like Thursday panties. <laughs> yeah, up. it's like what? <laughs> then she kept trying to stalk the ghost. Yeah. That movie was raunchy <laughs> as shit. <laughs> That movie was bad. That movie was bad. <clears throat> oh yeah. Uh what's another good movie? Uh and uh the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze, of course. <laughs> Of course. You had to sneak that one in there. No, that wasn't sneak. That was that was a full on fact. Not even a fact. That was law. <laughs> that, that was scientific law. Uh, and that's a good sequel. Let me see. Let me see what the uh, <laughs> let me see what the Metacritic is for that shit. <laughs> Probably like five. <laughs> uh, ooze. I gotta spell ooze. God damn it. T M N T two. Ooze. Secret of the ooze. Hey, the budget was twenty five million, and it made seventy eight point six million. God damn! That whole every did. goddamn kid in the world wanted to that go see that movie. Did numbers, my nigga. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes rating of thirty two. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. Oh, shit. That movie was great. Uh, Metacritic forty five out of a hundred. <laughs> Motherfucker failed the test. It didn't fail the test of being forever in my heart. <laughs> and a lot of movies is like and, that. And being the the sec and being one of the greatest sequels ever made of all time. <laughs> Not and I will, and and I will take nothing else. This is <laughs> all white people. They wouldn't understand. <laughs> the white people made the movie. <laughs> They wouldn't understand. <laughs> they wouldn't understand the movie they made. It's all the. It's, <laughs> this was, this was Dave Kerr of the Chicago. He says a fast, funny, engagingly unpretentious eighty-eight minutes that movie between martial art dustups and random satirical jibes achieves a more successful mix of action and humor than the first. There's plenty for adults as well as children, and I got enough as both. <laughs> <coughs> Hey, my throat's so damn sore. 
Is there another good comedy sequel? <laughs> uh, I was gonna say Friday, but not really. Nah, Friday. I'll give Friday. A, that was a good sequel. Friday. That Friday had moments. Friday. Friday after the you next. Mean next Friday. Next Friday had moments. I would say it's less than Friday because it doesn't. It doesn't capture. It doesn't what? capture the atmosphere as much as the first Friday. It, what, bro? Th- there's like, so many quotables. That in that mean, movie, that doesn't, I mean, it was just. Why you let the fat bitch jump on me? It was just my, yeah, but <laughs> my see, car. Look at my roof. But you don't look at my roof. You don't get the same feel. Like Friday was like this is just a day in the hood that just so happens to be funny. But it's not the point of Friday was because all the hood movies before that was like uh, I was about to say Boys to Men. That's not correct. <laughs> I, was, ah, I was cool about the you know that movie Boys to Men. <laughs> Look, go get everybody be a movie named Boys. I definitely was about to say boy, Boys in the Hood and Colors and uh, what's the what's another? You know, Boys to Men starring Lawrence uh, Fishburne. Man, it's to society, like all those movies was like the hood as a dystopia and like tragedy happens and shit fucked up. But Friday was just like, hey, you know, there's just people in the hood that I mean, aren't gang members and just just have hijinks. That was the point of Friday. So, I mean, it was going to be a bad movie because they was shooting at the niggas. No, I'm. You, but the point is they survived. It was, yeah, it, it wasn't like like all those other movies. Somebody dies at the end. It often is the main character or one of the main characters. Man, society Kane died. Yeah, Boys to the Hood. Fucking Kane uh, was the coolest nigga. Boys ever. to the Hood. Fucking uh, Ricky gets clapped in front of what's his name Trey. Ricky, how you That's, gonna shoot a nigga? You gonna shoot a nigga brother? <laughs> nigga they had nothing to do with none of that shit and you killed a nigga brother over it no then he ran into the dude first and then uh doughboy came yeah he ran into the dude first and then doughboy came and broke it up oh yeah yeah i forgot that part see you need to watch it again i need to watch it again but uh, i forgot what he, he but that was the point of friday was like to be the opposite of that it's yeah. just to make a comedy about being in the hood but it's not a hood movie no, it's a hood movie. But it's, it's not like a hood. But it's not. It, it doesn't fall into that. Oh, it's gangs and it's dire situations. You got to save somebody. And, and somebody's trying White to, saviors. And it's, it's just, just like, funny. It's just a day in the hood where next Friday it's like, oh, he goes to Rancho Cucamonga and there's like fucking fucking a, a, a gang of a Mexican, Mexican family that dealers. apparently just stole money or some shit. And they had a fucking money and a hydraulic pump for whatever reason. And it's like, oh, Day Day is, works at a fucking music store. Like, that. that's a completely different, like, feel, feel to the movie. But it was still a pretty good movie. Nah. You don't think it was a good movie? It had a lot of quotables, nigga. <laughs> the whole pinky part. It's all right. It's, there's funny parts because there are iconic There's a lot of shit, funny parts. But it's not, like... It's, it's, no it's, more it's, locked it's, doors. It's not, it's not, uh, what you call it? You ready for my ex step warrior? <laughs> it's not, like, it's not, like, a good sequel. Mm. Yeah, I don't I like know. It. I can't think of any other good comedy sequels. Good uh, comedy. Sequels. I was trying to look them up, but it's like a lot of movies that I don't care for and shit. Like fucking National Lampoons. Do not yeah. give a shit don't about give this no shit. No fucks about any of those. Uh, no, I can't think of. I can't think of nothing off the top of my head. Hmm. Yeah. See, no. that's it. I named them all. That that count. Um, what numbers is this? I need to count those. Thanks a lot, Seven. You rolling my vote. If you like what you hear, be I'll sure to comment, share, subscribe, and leave us five stars. Be sure to share, follow us subscribe. on Twitter at Space City Brothers, Facebook at Space City Brothers Podcast, Instagram at Space City Brothers. Uh, if you want to support us more, donate to our Patreon at Space City Bros Patreon. Um, Look out for our GoFundMe to don't look Tevin out for that stupid shit. A gaming PC that's actually my gaming PC that Tevin may or may not be able to use. Uh, I'll break. I'll probably treat it like a, a a child in divorce where he gets to see it every other weekend. <laughs> if at all. <laughs> And uh, also make sure <laughs> make sure to sign the petition to get us on that's, Spotify. That's where that's that's that goes our child children of divorce. <laughs> I will. I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> no one does. <laughs> that's, that's not a that's not a group you can offend. 
<laughs> Life is already offended. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. That's bad. I'm sorry. Oh man. Yeah, that's it. Before you ask, I'm not a child of divorce. I'm a child of separation. Bye. Look how I run it up. Look how I run it up. Look how I'm coming up. I wish you was one of us. See how that money come. Paper cut fingers from counting that money up. Praying emojis. The blessings keep coming. I know I can't have enough. Never on E. Took off on haters. There's no need to gas me up. I'm padding my lead. I'm too far ahead and there's no way you catching up.